everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing my weekly revo review for what would be my week four of may and my transaction log for this week as well there are some things that i want to clarify on here first because i realized that i might have messed up a little bit as one of uh, my subscribers had told me so i did want to make that clarification um so for here first nothing was spent on any of these and then the remaining i'm gonna fix really quickly and then we'll move down to here but um for um groceries on my register i'm trying to get it out on my register on heb i put that i spent twenty dollars and this actually should have been ten dollars and so i just wanted to fix that and put ten because that's how I had one dollar remaining. And then for here, I should have carried that dollar over. So it should have been 131 and that would have been my remaining. And then um, I should have brought, I spent 20 over here, so I should have brought $3 over here. So this should have been 83 remaining, which you'll see on the card over there. But we are on week four, which is the 25th through the 30th. And I went grocery shopping on the 25th. And I went to HUB, if I'm not mistaken. And I went to Target, I believe, too. But I do not know what the, um, the full difference was over there so i'm just gonna put heb slash target because i did go over there to get some things and let's see how much money i have left so i just have two dollars left here so i spent um 129 dollars and that leaves me with the remaining of two dollars and then there is some change in here. And if you're new to my channel, all the change that I get, I just put it in our little piggy bank. Well, it's not really a piggy bank. It's just a jar where we put all of our money into, all of our change into. So I'm going to put that up. And... Over here, I'm just carrying everything over here. So it was 131, 83, and then we didn't have anything for these last two for personal and household. So for groceries, I spent $129 and I have two remaining. And then for gas, you guys, I let my tank go down to the lowest it could possibly go to and I spent quite a penny for doing that and I also got gas and filled up on the 25th as well and I got it at HEB gas and how much money do I have left I have 10 20 31 32 so um, I spent $51 on gas which leaves me at 32 so let's put this back into my gas envelope. And I'm really loving this cash register because I can just even look at it when I'm not at home and just kind of see for reference how my money is going on. And then my last two envelopes, which is personal and household, there was nothing budgeted in there. And then I'm going to fill this out spent $51 and remainder at 32 and we're at zero 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 okay so that is my weekly review and let's get on into my transaction log so I'm actually just gonna take this out because it's easier to write on for my transaction log and so we're just gonna start down here 
So the first thing that I am going to put over here is going to be my Walmart. So like I had stated um, before with my Walmart, um, I had budgeted $20 for some household stuff that I needed to get and I got that. And so I'm just paying that card back off and it ended up um, only being like $18.35. So that's what I paid and that left me at $884.16. So that was kind of the only like debt that I've paid for this portion. And then I started to pay some bills. So also on 525, I paid my sudden link bill, which was a couple more dollars than normal and it was 97.93 and that left me at 786.23 and then that was the only thing that was done during that time and then on the 27th which was memorial day we didn't do anything and i was being very lazy and i need to stop going to this place because it's so not healthy but i went to mcdonald's to get some pancakes and eggs <laughs> and y'all won't see me go here for a while I'm doing my best um, and I don't even really like McDonald's so I don't even know why I spend my money there anyways um, which left me at 780 61 and this is just for miscellaneous things and then also on the 27th a while back back in April um, somebody that I knew I had them like run my credit to see if they were getting different scores um, from other people and so because I decided not to go with them, they just charged me the fee that they wouldn't have charged me before. So to run my credit, they charged me $26 and I had the money. So I just decided to just make the payment to them and not hold on to the money anymore. So I actually had Zelle, like you Zelle to send them the money. And on the 28th, of May um, I paid my Geico bill which was 157.69 and I've already gotten my renewal will start for August so it ends in oops ends in um, the end of July and for because my Geico is a combination of my renters insurance and my like regular insurance my car insurance and I've already gotten my renters insurance renewal and it's already went down six bucks because the renters insurance is seventeen dollars so um, I can't wait to see what my re my regular insurance goes down to um, so I'm hoping that there will be a decrease in this soon and then we have my AT&T bill which is two twenty one thirty seven and that leaves me at 375.55. And then um, on Wednesday night, I worked late and so did my boyfriend. And when he got home, he ended up buying something at the food truck at our apartment complex. And he just told me that I should just go and get something. Um, I've been eating pretty good for like the last two or three days or I should say two because on the 27th I didn't do so well um, but for the most part I've been doing pretty well so I went and picked up some Chipotle instead of cooking dinner that night and so that's what happened there and then also I did make another debt payment and that was to my city card and I spent $21.44, which left me at $346.59. And then I also paid part of my car note. Because as you know, earlier on in the month, I made an extra payment to our other car bill so that we can catch up. And this leaves me at 47.70. And there's gonna, I think, just be one more thing that's gonna come out, but it has not come out yet. So we'll see what happens. But 
Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.